there is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Do nothing that is of no use. The ultimate aim of martial arts is not having to use them. If you wish to control others, you must first control yourself. You can only fight the way you practice. From one thing, no 10,000 things. It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. Today is victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. The primary thing when you take a sword in your hands is your intention to cut the enemy, whatever the means. Whenever you parry, hit, spring, strike, or touch the enemy's cutting sword, you must cut the enemy in the same movement. It is essential to attain this. If you think only of hitting, springing, striking, or touching the enemy, you will not be able to actually cut him. Get beyond love and grief. Exist for the good of man. Do not regret what you have done. In battle, if you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. All men are the same, except for their belief in their own self, regardless of what others may think of them. If you do not control the enemy, the enemy will control you. Do not sleep under a roof. Carry no money or food. Go alone to places frightening to the common brand of men. Become a criminal of purpose. Be put in jail and extricate yourself by your own wisdom. If you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. To know 10,000 things, know one well. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy, it is important to see distant things as if they were close and to take a distanced view of close things. You should not have any special fondness for a particular weapon or anything else for that matter. Too much is the same as not enough. 
without intimidating anyone else. You should have as much weaponry as suits you. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight, and the only reason a warrior fights is to win. Respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. The important thing in strategy is to suppress the enemy's useful actions, but to allow his useless actions. Whatever the way, the master of strategy does not appear fast. Of course, slowness is bad. Really skillful people never get out of time and are always deliberate and never appear busy. The true science of martial arts means practicing them in such a way that they will be useful at any time and to teach them in such a way that they will be useful in all things. To become the enemy, see yourself as the enemy of the enemy. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. Accept everything just the way it is. Do not seek pleasure for its own sake. Do not, under any circumstances, depend upon a partial feeling. Be detached from desire your whole life long. Never be jealous. Never let yourself be saddened by a separation. Resentment and complaint are appropriate neither for oneself nor others. Do not let yourself be guided by the feelings of lust or love. In all things, have no preferences. Be indifferent to where you live. Do not pursue the taste of good food. Do not hold on to possessions you no longer need. Do not act following customary beliefs. Do not fear death. Never stray from the way. Under the sword lifted high, there is hell making you tremble. But go ahead and you have the land of bliss. Know your enemy Know his sword. When you decide to attack, keep calm and dash in quickly, forestalling the enemy. Attack with a feeling of constantly crushing the enemy from first to last. No man is invincible, and therefore no man can fully understand that which would make him invincible. There is no one way to salvation. Whatever the manner in which a man may proceed, all forms and variations are governed by the eternal intelligence of the universe, which enables a man to approach perfection. 
It may be in arts of music and painting, or it may be in commerce, law, or medicine. It may be in the study of war or the study of peace. Each is as important as the other. Spiritual enlightenment through religious meditation, such as Zen, or in any other way, is as viable and functional as any way. It is difficult to realize the true way just through sword fencing. Know the smallest things and the biggest things, the shallowest things and the deepest things. When in a fight to the death, one wants to employ all weapons to the utmost. I must say that to die with one's sword still sheathed is most regrettable. I dreamt of worldly success once. Polish your wisdom. Learn public justice. Distinguish between good and evil. Study the ways of different arts, one by one. Both in fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined through calm. Meet the situation with tenseness, yet not recklessly. Your spirit settled, yet unbiased. Even when your spirit is calm, do not let your body relax. And when your body is relaxed, do not let your spirit slacken. Do not let your spirit be influenced by your body, or your body be influenced by your spirit. Step by step, walk the thousand mile road. It is said that the warriors is the twofold way of pen and sword. He should have the taste for both ways. Even if a man has no natural ability, he can be a warrior by sticking assiduously to both divisions of the way. Develop intuitive judgment and understanding for everything. A man cannot understand the art he is studying if he only looks for the end result without taking the time to delve deeply into the reasoning of the study. When your opponent is hurrying recklessly, you must act contrarily and keep calm. You must not be influenced by the opponent. Do nothing which is of no use. Truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. This is the way for men who want to learn my strategy. Do not think dishonestly. The way is in training. Become acquainted with every art. Know the ways of all professions. Distinguish between gain and loss in worldly matters. Perceive those things which cannot be seen. Pay attention even to trifles. Do nothing which is of no use. A bullet from a gun does not make a distinction between practice and combat. You are training to be one and the same way in your life. A thousand days of training to develop, ten thousand days of training to polish. You must examine all this 
well. Immature strategy is the cause of grief. Why would you want to appear as one thing and be another? If you are a warrior, then you are a warrior. And if you are not a warrior, then you are not a warrior. The way of the warrior is the way of the warrior. To be a warrior, look like a warrior and stand like a warrior. Do not be false to yourself. If you are not progressing along the true way, a slight twist in the mind can become a major twist. This must be pondered well. When you attack the enemy, your spirit must go to the extent of pulling the stakes out of a wall and using them as spears. The important thing is to polish wisdom and the mind in great detail. If you sharpen wisdom, you will understand what is just and unjust in society and also the good and evil of this world. Then you will come to know all kinds of arts and you will tread different ways. In this manner, no one in this world will succeed in deceiving you. It is after this stage that you will arrive at the wisdom of strategy. The wisdom of strategy is entirely distinct. Even right in the middle of a battle, where everything is in rapid movement, it is necessary to attain the most profound principle of strategy, which assures you an immovable mind. You must examine this well. It may seem difficult at first, but all things are difficult at first. Aspire to be like Mount Fuji, with such a broad and solid foundation that the strongest earthquake cannot move you, and so tall that the greatest enterprises of common men seem insignificant from your lofty perspective. With your mind as high as Mount Fuji, you can see all things clearly, and you can see all the forces that shape events, not just the things happening near to you.